Okay, so um, I've been he I've had an idea for a long time on how to make it so I can identify my sockets and spanners easier because I work from toolboxes. I don't have fancy racks and stuff to to use. So um, PVC tape would be the quickest and easiest way to mark tools. You do get kits of coloured tape specifically for that job, but you know, uh, the tape gets damaged, needs replacing, what do you do? You use different color tape. Now you could use all sorts of heaps of different colors, but the problem you've got then is, is it becomes hard to identify, it becomes a, just a mishmash of colors. Added to that, it's hard to track down different colored PVC tape anyway, just off the shelf. However, you Commonly, there are 11 different colors of PVC tape, including black, obviously. So, um, what I've done here is I've marked them in such a way that uh, we can... Uh, oh, for God's sake, listen to them outside. How long are you going to be reversing it for? Oh, I'll just try and talk through it. So, um, what I've done it here is I've said, right, okay, get it. 10 of them, don't use black, black's hard to see sometimes, and uh, you can get easily get 10 PVC, co different colours of PVC. I started off with yellow, then brown, obviously a contrasting colour to the yellow and the white next door, then with red, green, earth stripes, silver grey, blue, orange, and I think that's violet that colour. Some might think it's purple, I'm not sure. Indigo? Well, I don't know. Anyway, and then to make sense of this color code system, and only using 10 colors, I've repeated it again. So it starts off at 20 at yellow, and so on and so forth. So the great thing about the system is, is that you know, for instance, um, anything that's orange is, is gonna have eight. So it's eight millimeter, 18 millimeter, 28 millimeter. So it makes it very easy to identify because obviously the size is a 10 is going to be a lot smaller than a 20 and 30 is obviously going to be bigger than a lot. So I mean, just for instance, just looking at this lot here, right, okay, so I can tell you that because my color code system says that anything white has got two, so that's too small, too big for 12, so it's going to be 22 and this has got to be 32. That works and it works for spanners as well. Oh, sorry, wrong door. Here you go. Uh, as an added sort of finesse to it, anything that's AF, the equivalent color size in metric, but two bands. So this tells me that this is inch and an eighth. <coughs> you can see here three quarter would have, would, have, would have two purple bands, 11 sixteenths would have two blue bands, and so on and so forth. So it's very easy to identify the colors, obviously. If a 17 sitting next to a 7, you'll identify it straight away because there'll be a huge difference in the size of them. Here's a classic example. That's 8, 1 8, and of course an 18. Here's an 18. So you're not going to get them mixed up, are you? Anyway, I've done that with the sockets. I've done it with my mobile toolkit as well. So take you over to that, let you have a look at that. So here you go, spanners in here, all easy to identify. Now I've got the color code system going, that's 19, that's 19, that's 10, that is going to be an old spanner that's got the equivalent of an 18. I think it's actually a Whitworth spanner. Anyway, and then you've got your sockets here, so you can see, okay, hello. So in amongst these spanners, for instance, in sockets, for instance, I know orange, that's got to be an 8, that's got to be an 18, brown, that's got to be 21, big. Orange one here, that's got to be 29, no, 28, what am I saying, 29. Uh, this is, this is going to be 22. 
that's definitely a 17. Anyway, you can see how the system works. Uh, it's what also makes it handy for reference purposes is having this little chart, display chart here. So, anyway, that's the system I've got. If it works for you, 